Well, I'm losing light here, so I'm not sure how much more I'm going to get done tonight. I'm going to take a break and then just see how I feel. This is just my second wheelbarrow full from this space. I'm just working on kind of the outline where it's going to be, because um, the whole thing has to kind of slope in, like I said, because I still want to be able to maybe get my mower right around here or so. Um, but yeah, it's hard to really see. I mean, maybe you can kind of see it. But like right in through here, and then it goes back, there's a dip. And again, my ducks, they just like, they couldn't even really swim in this area. It was more like a super deep puddle that they would drag their stomachs around on while flapping their feet across it, like fake swimming, like what you would expect from like a three-year-old or something, okay? But they would just love it so much. So you can kind of see this dip kind of comes along through here. So this is going to be the front end and that's going to be the back end. So it's going to carve out this area. I don't know the specifics of it yet, but I think that in the deepest area, I'm going to go ahead and try to get it maybe like one and one third feet deep or so. Like I don't want to push it too much. And there's a couple of low areas that I may mound up slightly. I don't want this area to necessarily be super noticeable in the non-wet season. Um, well, that's kind of what I was thinking, but part of me is almost wondering if I should go ahead and, you know, leave the edges not covered in pond liner, but have a little, sec like, basically just a little area carved out with pond liner that is going to have water in it more often. I haven't really decided yet. So anyways, it's kind of this, this area right here. It's going to be a rain garden slash pond that's going to feed off of these and with the water that I fill my pond with and then come through like a little mini dinky creek and there's going to be hardscaping and it is going to cost some money but this is remember this is my functional roadside advertisement because during that those wet seasons I'm going to bring my ducks and park them up here to come forage and stuff and they're going to be flapping around at that and everybody is going to drive by the ducks and they're going to see that I'm selling ducks and that I'm also selling fertilized duck eggs for a good price Okay, and I want, and, and plants, right? And I want that, I want my frontage to be so compelling that people are just like, okay, I got to stop and buy something from that little self-serve stand or, you know, ring the little, because I'm going to put a doorbell on a post out here so that people can just ring the bell if they need something instead of having to come up my scary porch. I know my team is like having nightmares about this already, but it's going to be okay. But I want them to feel compelled to stop and spend 5 or 10 or $15 on a plant just to have a reason to stop and not look like stalkers because I get a lot of looky-loos as it is. But if you can imagine when I get this like hardscaped and it's like all looks good, it's gonna, you know, people like, they drive by slow just to see what's changed about the place since the last time they drove by, okay? So I want them to feel compelled to stop and to, to spend some of their money <laughs> on my stuff, basically. So it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be worth it because, again, it is going to be functional for my waterfowl as well. And even though I should probably be painting, you know, I have less than a month left until my birds arrive. And I also have to do the fiber asphalt coating on the roof. And the geese, especially the African geese, are going to grow up quickly. And by the time they do that spring, down at the bottom of the hill will be kind of at the height of summer and that will have dried up. So I want them to have a nice watering hole. Anyways, I guess I'll just, I meant to make this quick and it's already been four minutes just on this snippet, but I'll just show you, you know, cause I actually moved these blocks out a little bit further than they were earlier. And I'm just putting that kind of like, you know, quote unquote sod, just like green side up. And that's probably just how I'll keep stacking it. And then I do want this to get a little bit taller and then I'll just stack more sod however much I need to because I'll have a whole lot that I can pull off of that area. Um, and then we'll see. And then on the inside, I have to, um, you know, take the edge off of this and mound it so that the birds can get out and that they're not getting stuck or and no little ones are drowning. I'm going to actually have to put some little things in there specifically to keep smaller birds from drowning because I do hope to be raising a lot of many cycles of baby birds as I'm trying to, you know, 
have them be more of a farm product here. So we'll see how it goes. And, you know, I don't know how my live bird to fertilized egg sales ratio will be because I'll actually be able to mail out the fertilized eggs. I do want to get an incubator and just test it myself to make sure that, like, see what my hatch rate is on my flock once they get older and stuff um, before I decide how to price them and things like that, you know. So we'll see. Yeah, I want to do the really affordable fertilized eggs that people can hatch their own flocks. And then also um, do pullets. So ones that are not in baby stage because, you know, there's a lot of people out here that they have day jobs and they can't look after day old chicks. They just can't do it. They can get the facilities built to have ones that are a little bit more independent look after themselves. But they don't necessarily want to be having to have the heat lamp and, and all that stuff. So... We'll see how it goes, but I'm exhausted. You know, I would be a liar if I said I only ate one donut today. Okay, I basically fueled myself on donuts today and three scrambled eggs with a slice of cheese scrambled in this for my late breakfast. And that's that's it. So I'm about to go have myself a banana spinach milk sm smoothie. I'm going to get something reasonable inside of my tummy before I cook something and I don't really know I'm gonna have like ramen because I didn't thaw any meat and I sure better not touch another one of those donuts so anyways goodbye